Hey guys, this is Cindy and I wanted to show you my July design team project for Artzology. I used her ladybug kit and a couple of videos down on my list of videos I show you all the pages printed out. There's it's a massive kit. It's got like eight double pages, eight backgrounds. There's a folder of add-ons like tags and belly bands and banners and uh, different there's like two different um, sizes of folders and six different prints of that and there's um, all these different pockets. It just goes on and on and on. So it's definitely uh, a great kit. You'll make tons of stuff out of it. And I just wanted to show you the journal I made out of it. First of all, let's talk about this elastic band. I've got this fabric or whatever you want to call it in some Salvation Army, I think it was. And I made it for my closure and I probably made it too big, but I wanted it to be able to expand, you know, with the journal. So if it's too big and you don't like it, you can always take a stitch and make it smaller. So anyway, I got that as my closure. I got this, found this fabric at Walmart. It's perfect fabric. It was uh, yellow with um, ladybugs on it. And I had this trim in my stash, so I just trimmed the edges of the fabric. And on the front, I trimmed the edges of this um, print, digital print, that she, you know, suggested this could be a cover, but, you know, you can use it however you want. This is a uh, decorating Im image from the um, kit that came with the little scallop, and I just inked it up. I took some of my own sparkly paper. I had a sheet of leftover from when my daughter did a Harry Potter kit. You'll see little bits and pieces of it through here. So I uh, punched out a butterfly, added some red velvet ribbon here. And on the uh, signature ties, there's ladybugs, and one of them's hiding up in here. There he is, or she. Get her out here. There's ladybug buttons. Found those at Walmart too. So now is a good time to go look for ladybug accessories if you're interested in this kit. Um, this. Uh, journal measures five and a half by eight and a half. It's got a one and a half inch spine, three signatures, 120 pages. So let's look at it real quick. I'm gonna try to stay in frame. <laughs> I covered the end pages with a printout from the kit because my end pages were just that ugly, you know, manila folder color. Here's some more of the fabric and the trim. Each one of the signature covers is a double print. All my pages, it's got the um, pages from the kit. I made them double sided. So I printed the background on one side and the page on the other. And on this one, I added, or each signature's got the red lace added. The kit comes with some uh, tickets, and I just turned mine sideways and made a little belly band. And this is one of the tags. And you'll see several of these oval tags. I made them all the same, I believe. Backed them on some um, book page, used my deckle scissors to cut it out, and the back also had, I put lined paper. So it's got like three layers on those tags. I just made a little, uh, stamp collage type thing there and I think I got that uh, punch from Robin and this same butterfly from her in Happy Mail so I appreciate that Robin here's one of the banners from the kit it's kind of hard to see on this music paper that it's a banner shape but my pages were too narrow to run it you know uh, horizontal so I just went vertical and made a belly band out of it and here's one of the journaling cards just cut out and inked up makes a great journaling card and let's see, here's a pocket I created. All of her pockets like this are for the right-hand page. So once you cut it out, you can take it, turn it over onto a background paper, and just cut out another pocket. Trace around, cut out a pocket for the left-hand side of the page. And I added this fabric lacy flower I got from Hobby Lobby. This is one of the journaling cards that comes with the kit. I just cut it out, inked it up, and used it the way it was. Here is a pocket, woven pocket I just made out of scrapbook paper and book page. It's got trim and lace on it, and this is one of the uh, decorations from the kit. I made this journaling card, and it's made out of book page, napkin, it's got some stenciling on it, and some lined paper on the back, stitched around it, and this image is from a magazine. I just had it in my stash, so I backed it on some pink paper, uh, cardstock, inked it up, and it makes a great journaling card. All the images in this journal are from the kit, unless I, there's like three or four that I got from magazines or something, so I'll point those out when we get there. Okay, this paper came from a five ring binder, the uh, Better Homes and Garden five ring binder that, on the gardening, so you'll see some of those in here, and I've got stickers on them. Page from the kit, a background. Here's one of the pockets that I just embellished with some a uh, little applique and some fabric. And this little tag I just made. I have these uh, Rolodex cards for sale in my Etsy shop, but they're actually Wildex because they just have the one hole. 
I just decorated it with some stickers in my stash, and this image right here came from the kit. Just inked it all up, and it makes a great little journaling card. Here's another one of those uh, lacy flowers from Hobby Lobby. This page, and you'll see it a couple of times in here, is from a like a, a cookbook like from 1965. You know, some of those that like an organization makes and sells. Um, background paper. And the page, and I just used it for the um, center of the signature. Fabric ruffle I got at Hobby Lobby. It's already ruffled up. Here's some more of those stickers. This is vintage typing paper. Here's a belly band from the kit, and I just added this lace behind it that uh, Robin sent me in a Happy Mail. And here's an, a journaling card from the kit. I just stitched it on some book page, put the lime paper on the back. It makes a great journaling card. Here's one of those pockets, like I said. This is the one from the kit, and then I cut it out, turned it over onto some other paper from the kit, traced around it, cut it up to make that left-hand side pocket. Added some lace here. This is a journaling card from the kit and a tab from the kit. I forgot to say that there's like six or seven, eight different tabs. And um, I just made it, put it on the journaling card, and then I stamped this. I got this stamp from Hobby Lobby. This is a tuck made out of three. Uh, circle punches. Two of them are scalloped. The center one is, um, I cut it out of some paper and just um, stenciled on it. And then that's an some paper I just cut from the, some of the tear paper that I just cut my shape from. Here's another one of those Wildex cards. It's just some stickers on it. That's that sparkly paper again I showed you earlier. I made a faux stamp out of um, book page and some scraps and then that butterfly I cut from the papers. Here is another belly band and I just had some red piping. I glued it on the back so that gives it a finish and here is one of the folders from the kit and on all the folders I just cut them out, inked them up, did a little bit of stenciling in them and they make great journaling cards. Second signature, there's the book page and here's the background. Some more tickets to make another belly band. Here's another one of the folders. These are the small ones. I did not use the large ones because they're too big for this book, but there's three that are larger than these. This is wallpaper. And on this journaling card, I just added some of that ruffle fabric and then some of this mesh and um, makes a tuck. And then here's just one of the tags that comes with the kit. This page is in the add-on kit, and these journaling, these are also printed out as journaling cards. You'll see some in a minute. Here's another pocket from the kit, and I just decorated the back of this page with that napkin I had in my stash. The colors went great, and another one of those oval tags. This is an envelope that comes with the kit, and there's a couple of different envelopes. It's just, I just printed it out, inked it up, put a little trim on it, and this little trim here came from Robin. And I'm not sure where I had that, I think it was here. My uh, paper clip, simple little paper clip with just some um, lace on the top, I mean a ribbon on the top. Center of the signature. Here is a fabric flip. It's made out of red ticking. And then this uh, dotted fabric strip of lace and then some trim at the top. Here's one of those journaling cards I said you would see later. I just put it onto a book page with collage on the front and it's been stitched around, inked up, and it makes a great tuck. And here's another one of the file folders. Just printed out, inked and, and stenciled on, and it's ready for uh, journaling. And I like it that it's got lined pages on the back there. I mean, not pages, just lines on the back. Another pocket, and I just put a little applique on there to decorate it, and this little um, stamped quote. Here's another one of the envelopes from the kit. I just inked it up, glued it up, and stenciled it a little bit. I left it empty. All the, I think I left all the uh, envelopes empty, just so they can you can put your own stuff in there. There's that page. Another pocket, and this one's got this paper uh, flower from Hobby Lobby and some more of that mesh. Someone told me that mesh was what's left over when they punch out sequins. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, now this journaling card from the kit made into a larger journaling card with book page, lined paper. And this is some of that ticking I had left over. And it's been stitched around.
third signature, another page from the kit and a background. I just got a fabric uh, embellishment there. This is just a journaling card that I inked up, made a tuck out of it. I just had a flower mustache. On this journaling card, it's the same concept, book page, lined paper. I just collaged it with some papers from the tear sheets that come with the kit. Here's a little bit of that napkin, and then I just used this journaling card that came in the kit, stitched around it, and then stitched around the whole thing. So it makes a really firm journaling card. Another pocket, and this um, applique here is just, I had cut out from a shirt. It's been in my stash for a while. Um, journaling card from the kit. Here's where I stamped my own little tab with that um, sparkly paper and then um, some of that velvet ribbon. Another sticker. On this, uh, this is the background and I put this lace from a robin on there and made a pocket out of it. And on this journaling card, it's the same concept, lined paper, book page, stitched around. And there's the journaling card from the kit. I I think, or is that a picture from a magazine? One of the, I think it's from the kit. And then um, I just put lace over the whole thing. This is an image from my stash. I did the same thing with this pocket. I just covered it with lace. And that image is from my stash. Here's another one of the oval tags. It's made just like the other ones. Here's some Edith Holden paper. Center the signature. Another pocket. This one I put Rick Rack on it. Another journaling card. It's one of those ladies, and I just added some fabric behind her, a little bit of stenciling, and that ruffled ribbon, and lined paper on the back. Here's the other lace pocket. It goes on. The, it was just a double page of that. A tag from the kit with ruffled lace on the top. Ruffled fabric on the top. Another pocket and another round tag made just like the other ones. And on this, that's a that background image is from the kit and then I just added a button I got from Walmart on top of it. And that's the end of the journal. Some more fabric, some more of that background paper, and some more ribbon. So anyway, this is going to be for sale on my Etsy shop, Books by Burke. So if you're interested, you might go check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.